today's video is the bitter truth about marriage nobody is talking about so let's dive to the main gist hello guys welcome back to my channel i still remain your favorite krista ever so if you are new here i welcome you to this channel make sure you subscribe like and drop your comments you know go <laughs> so even all these that have not subscribed to my channel please do so subscribe to my channel let's interact so today's video is the bitter truth about marriage nobody is talking about so guys i have so many on my list but i'm going to discuss the three most important i personally think is the most important so the first one i'm going to talk about is next are you prayerful do you have fear of god that's one the second one is your financial status hmm. the third one is hey god the third one is childlessness so i think we are going to start from the first one the fear of god are you a prayerful person like do you do you pray always or are you a kind of jangolo somebody what i mean by jangolo is as in somebody the careless with prayers or uh, i'm not talking i'm not saying that i'm i'm too prayerful i'm righteous no but only like only be he geru imano ga fegu izu okwe e wata go i will suggest and i will ask young ones to start now to pray especially those that have not entered into marriage I have my reasons though so please if you are a jangolo person like the careless person in prayer i will urge you to start immediately to learn how to pray like pray to god so in any relationship or marriage the two partners like i'm not saying one the two partners the two partners have to be very careful have to be very prayerful and they have to pray always because one from my own point of view if you're not the prayerful type you can easily fall into trap like okay let me just tell you a story about my life and when i was in final year i broke up with my i think fourth year I, my husband i'm not here i mean no just not this idea then he was my he was my boyfriend i decided no no mom, mom nothing nothing and blah 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 although shana didn't want to take more but and sometimes i'll be like ah i beg if it's the will of god eh, so shall it be your board within me i was boiling i was like ah am i the cause or how so after then after my 40 i had a very terrible dream like in that dream i was i was with a lady like a lady form so we were arguing about something it mean about arrow like arrow the point the point the most pointy part of the arrow near the arrow near more near the arrow near arrow near more so when we are arguing i was here the lady was there the lady was there i was here the arrow was here so i'm not talking about the same argue in a ship to but not knowing that in a fall into trap so the next thing i heard what next thing i know was the lady pushed me like push him back backward may arrow name like a tiny tiny stuff bed from nowhere started crying at the at my room window at my window room as in if you to come what yeah yeah but they don't know another my brother started praying speaking in tongues i'm gonna eat at the time i'm gonna eat 
the morning to that night, can't see a gas on. Eh, you don't ask boom, near room. Hey, like, eh, and I was very sick that period. I told my mom, please, oh, I will follow you to chapel. I'm going to do my or whatever. Just let's go. I had a terrible dream. And that thing, you mean I'm going to mother, like, mother, Aurora, or Tete Murozi. Ian, be a but to God be the glory, nothing happened. I'm still alive up to this moment. So, if you are not prayerful, like, oh my God, some people are going to be like, I'm going to be like, I'm always going to be like, I'm going to be like, if they kneel down with their two legs or with their two knee, say, God, please forgive me. I'm sorry. Have mercy on me. I will not do it again. God will forgive them. Shapali, shapali. What will not look at Malaya again about what you and America, America before? You have to know your level of spiritual growth before you name anyhow in life. So, without prayers, like, oh, no, my bro, you be very prayerful. All because of I'm in a relationship with my boyfriend. Because you don't know the ladies or the guys that may be interested in this particular person you think that you alone is interested in. So, after the whole thing, although we are not in speaking terms, so I started going for prayers, I started doing deliverance, I started doing all, all kind of stuff. So later on, we got back together. We started our wedding preparation, so traditional wedding preparation. I was having this kind of terrible dream, like not a terrible dream. Sometimes they will use my mother's face. They will use my mother's face. And visited me, and they will. They, in fact, they will, there's there's one that I will not forget. The lady wanted to flog me in that dream. I collected the the cane. No, I didn't collect the cane. I wanted to like slap or blow the person in that dream. Amaram no dim kam karaka uti as osi anya anya mo. I have to wake up from that dream. Come, hey God, I have to wake up from that dream. Well. Hmm. All the revelations that we got, as in, in my own wedding, we got two revelations that they will put poison in our food. I gain the beyond the Hey, I wanted to cry. I was like Jesus Christ. Kedihe mother, like who did I offend? I will ask you for forgiveness. Please forgive me. But if you are not prayerful, you will not even know all these things. And the material where they now, they have been made arrest. My material where they now, God broke. So please, if you are not prayerful, start now to be prayerful. I am not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Go Google or please, I want to learn how to pray. Ask your friend that you. Know, we have one or two friends that knows how to pray very well. Ask them to teach you. Serious talk. If you have a relationship, I'm not going to need you around you. I'm going to have a wedding. Hey. More even is in a marriage. You say, eh, I have arrived. Don't worry, hey name. Hey, Oga Hokande. How will I put it? Ndia jomu na ndia jomada. Gesuwe as avokunye genoba, avoro genoba. Eh, if they lift you up from the ground, eman wata wata as in you can't even balance yourself anymore. Without prayers, like. Biko, start now to pray because with prayer and fear of God. Do you know that I have heard stories like so much stories that a friend poisoned the friend because she is jealous that the friend is getting married. I have heard stories about boyfriend or girlfriend poisoning the ex because she is get, he or she is getting married in my own street at Enugu, where I lived with my parents at Enugu. There's this guy, okay, I will not forget him. He's a chemist and very rich, like me and one of the very rich, not the very rich. He was working with he was working in UNC Heights there and have a pharma, pharma and have a pharmacy store before before me born, I have a pharmacy store. His story was that. 
the girlfriend they don't have the same blood group no they don't have matching blood group like i think the guy is as and the girl is as then they medically advised them not to marry so luckily for the guy he now found a new girl to settle down with then uh, the former girlfriend let me just call her an ex was very 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 mad and angry so and uh he invited the guy over to her place and that is where the girl poisoned him to death and when i heard the story i was like shaking because the guy at Obuete, when i wanted to buy my soap extract the guy paid for a whole dozen for me because we are living in the same streets he, he bought the whole dozen for me like i didn't spend one naira on that soap and i was like jesus christ oh, i ate this guy's body you go please fuck you. it was not intentional it is out of it was out of his good deed but how can somebody think of killing somebody you have something in common with even if it's medically not approved that you will be with that person things happen maybe god wants to make a better way for you or to give you a better person that will cherish you in the future but so my second point is finances financial status <laughs> if you are a lady and you are in a relationship you don't have something doing oh i would suggest you to start now to learn like upgrading or a hacker like we have so many businesses now that ladies can do you can sell makeup you can sell menswear you can you can have your own brand like your organic cream organic uh, cream brand you can have your makeup line you can have whatever you want to have start small i have heard of uh, because if you end up marrying the guy only we don't want work and once children starts coming you guys should divert your attentions from yourself towards your kids including the monetary aspects like i can remember when we were growing up my mom hardly buy clothes for herself all she care about is the well-being of her children every parents do that so i will not even blame you when you start your own but when you are financially okay I remember I did, I don't have this wrapper or I don't I I I really wanted to have this high target or this type of lace or this type of outfit. But I'm not one person there with the whole thing. It would take China to go and go and go mark and go and not buy a gun key or this eka or you have to do one issue. So it's kind of somehow I was and that leads also that leads to insults because you know another diggy ego every day or every week or blah 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 blah. It will lead to insults whether you like it or not, and the man will start treating you anyhow. Likewise, men that don't have anything to do with and enter into a marriage or enter into marriage, your wife will surely insult you and will turn you to a maid, which we have been seeing in the society. In MS lay boys, lay queen without anything as an unwell comma so i would suggest for you to have something doing be financially okay just okay for instance now in a scenario or in a case whereby as a married woman your parents want some amount of money for you to give them and you don't have something doing then after you after talking with your parents you are waiting for your husband to come and give you that money to give to your parents as a man just feel that man's pain as the man how will he feel he's somebody's child though honestly he's somebody's child so i would suggest like i can't care with that i can't care with the ethical yoni hanaga you understand what i mean and all the financial if you had working if you had working oh my god Okay, for a half talk more can I say uh don't work or I will provide every of your needs. I will do this, I will do that. What if if you look for that man tomorrow and you and you didn't see him? What will be your fate? Each other man, eighty, each other each other man get thank in Katie. How about a for ya can he game? Okay, in a case whereby you don't have good in laws. 
all your husband's property they would take it as a ah it's my brother's property or it's our son's property or you are an outsider they married you we, maybe you guys have combined business that brought that amount of property or blessing to your husband but they will take over but if you have something do you be like i don't care you understand where i'm coming from so please some rich guys like all these rich people if you notice they don't marry from low or low class background they marry from their level so that one they will maintain the same level of richness two their children will not suffer three to avoid insult no okay don't you have what they know what they know what they know what they know hey i rest my comments but my advice in all this even if you want to work please don't be a career woman don't be that kind of that type of career woman that will neglect her family needs like you say my work is more important you will forget your family at the end you will regret it too that's why i i will suggest for you to to have your own business if you have your own business you can decide when and when not to work so Miko, think about it if you buy your parents a car it's not a sin if you as a lady build your parents a house it's not a sin so my third one is ah hmm okay for childlessness oh my god it's nothing to joke with like it's a very serious case so we have to mind the type of life we live and also like our personal hygiene because all this leads to all this stuff i'm only even as um, for myself that lived in hostel out from secondary school to university hi guy please go and treat for infection or whatever early before deregulate because childlessness and, and if you if you if you get married after nine months ah uh, hey in the being loggy like in the in loggy will be looking at you one kind of eye like what's happening is she not fertile what's the lane ah after a year oh boy yeah. they will turn your home to hellfire eh, that you married that they will be telling your husband that you married a man into your home how can you bring a man to your home and call your husband and call your wife is that one a wife without even knowing if the fault is from the man or if the fault is from you but at the end all the blames will be on your head so what am i saying if you wait up to nine months without nothing not even miscarriage hmm? not even miscarriage oh sorry yeah is she in my hair oh okay so if you wait up to nine months nothing happened not even miscarriage start to that moment and start seeking for solution ask the man that your husband or that your wife let's go for fertility test all the fits do it so that you will prove and know where your where your problem is we don't know get and they what you know we don't know get to where would you before the before the other start early to pursue black god before his night do you understand because one even if some in-laws they are good though i'm not i'm not arguing about that but sometimes that your in-laws that your good in-laws they are also human beings even yourself if you are somebody's in-law and your brother and your brother's wife didn't give birth early you will talk oh. i know you hi go on you must talk so what am i saying once you notice something yeah start early even if as in, even if in fact before you even get married as you are growing up pray to god god please once i'm married i want to start bearing children for my for my husband i want to be fruitful once i enter into marriage it's not a bad prayer like it's not a bad prayer. when i started praying about getting married at but that is the story of another day 
but okay i can't rest in here can't do my prayerfulness as the first one because without prayers even if you are seeking medically even if you are seeking spiritually without prayers it's babash it's nonsense do you understand so whatever you are doing back up with prayers i have seen a lot of ladies cry midnight although now they make a bust up like if you have a man we can but within them they are dying inside do you understand they are dying inside no matter the kind of in-laws you have again when at the side talk there must be side talk you understand if you can care care about it a man we have a man we have a man we do you understand where i'm coming from and a nine and i without mentioning the man are you getting my point so you as a woman know whose fault it is as one body don't broadcast your family issues with people hey in fact, I'm going to work with you. I'm going to work with you. I'm going That's how they will be gossiping about you. That's how they will be gossiping about you. Until your whole story is going to So what? Like, and another thing I have to add is, please, once you are married, eh? I'm going to work with you too much. I'm going to work with you. I'm going to work with you. I'm going to work with you. I'm going like pin here pin on again like pin it very well because only you go out today get your hair you will call god tomorrow you understand i have a friend somebody that i called my friend during mother's day last year i was i wanted to buy something in a shop in your house <laughs> uh, you are not a mother now. You will celebrate Father's Day. Hi. Hi, Jesus. I can't talk to you. I can't talk to honestly speaking. But know who you accept into your house. Know who you accept into your home. Because that very person you accept can turn to your worst enemy so these are the few reasons among many i have to give you today about bitter truths of marriage always bear in mind that marriages or marriage is not always bed of roses there are many struggles there are so many ups and downs and there are so 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 many blessings that comes with marriage always pray to god to bless you whatever desire you want him to bless you with as a single lady out there before you step into marriage i pray you find something doing before saying or work before saying i do or walking down the aisle because the road is still far i love you guys Make sure you subscribe to my channel to encourage me to do more videos and also like and share this video. If you have any question, drop it in the comments box. Or you can as well send me an email or follow me on Instagram with the name Krista Eva. And also, I will drop my online store in the description box so you guys will go and check my collections. And make sure you turn on the notification on to know when the next video will be up bye